right, welcome back to the Week in Review. Let's now take a look at some of Friday's events that shaped our area and what it's all about. Let's join Jason Serenier and the news crew as they went around and got you this piece on some of the events that took place on Friday. In Lafouche Parish news, Lafouche Parish deputies find the body of an elderly lady in Thibodeau. Deputies found the unnamed woman in her car 300 yards from St. Patrick Highway in Thibodeau. Deputies believe the woman may have had a history of mental illness and may have driven off the roadway and into the cane field. Deputies say foul play is not suspected, and as of news time on Friday, the name of the victim was pending family notification. In news from Terrebonne, a homo man is arrested for incest after the mother of the child reported the abuse of a two-year-old child last month. Deputies arrested 24-year-old Gerard Dardar for aggravated incest and obstruction of justice on Thursday. Deputies say Dardar also destroyed his cell phone, which contained possible pornographic images of the girl leading to the obstruction charges. In more news from Terrebonne, on Friday, the Homa Terrebonne Council on Aging held a 4th of July celebration for seniors. Today we're having our 4th of July celebration. Um, we want to honor our veterans and our, our elderly. Uh, we started this years ago uh, and then we stopped it due to all the disasters and we're trying to get it up running again. And uh, we have a, a nice crowd today. And the news from Washington, Congressman Jeff Landry took center stage as Speaker Pro Tem on the floor of Congress on Friday. This morning, under the instruction of Speaker Boehner, Leader Cannon, and Whit McCarthy, I presided over a performance session in the United States House of Representatives, preventing Congress from going into recess and blocking President Obama from issuing recess appointments. Let me begin by saying that under normal circumstances, the House of Representatives should not involve itself in nomination fights. The Founding Fathers clearly intended the Senate to handle nominees through a vetting process. However, when liberal lobbyists, unions, and community organizers direct the White House to subvert the will of the Senate, extraordinary steps must be taken to return transparency to our government and sanity to our political appointees. All right, when we come back, Terrebonne General Medical Center with another medical tip. And then, of course, we'll be in the uh, kitchen with Kanata's. That's all coming up on the Week in Review. Don't go away. We'll be right back.